Hello everybody and welcome to hole number 8, a par 4 of the Greenberg Slopes in the Extreme Hills Tournament and we're playing from 2nd T, which is Pro and Expert Division. The video here is sponsored by Golf Clash and Play Dimmick and before we start don't forget to subscribe to the channel and also visit golfclashtommy.com for more Golf Clash related content. Last but not least, get the best text guides on the market by going to patreon.com slash golfclashtommy, link in the description down below. Let's start off with the drive and I'm playing with four and a half bar top spin and as much a side spin to the right possible. The most important part here for me is the tip of the ball guideline and the second bounce. You do want that ball guideline to go in between the rough on the left and the right. Maximum distance with a 20% over adjustment is going to be needed and then we're obviously going to try to hit perfect. The ball is going to bounce on the fairway and then get over and roll up very nicely. And here it's a situation where we do play a linear hole, which means that the 349 yards is going to be extremely valuable to build a yardage table, which obviously will be in the guides once we play the tournament. Second shot, we're going to play with the Thorn or Hornet or whatever short term we might want to use. Have in mind though, you need at least four bars of backspin to play this shot because I don't want you to bounce on the fairway before the green because that's going to all be affected because we go from a higher to a lower point all the time when bouncing on that uphill slope. But if we do go directly on green, we're going to have a flat area and then we can rely on our adjustment much, much better. And as you can clearly see, we shoot uphill, which means that the ball is going to be less affected by the wind. And therefore we play minus 10% when it comes to elevation, which means that we do subtract from our original adjustment. And there we do have a safe and nice eagle for hole number 8. If you don't feel comfortable with playing with, um, if you don't feel comfortable playing with, uh, you know, a short iron, or you you don't just don't feel comfortable hitting perfect, then you can play power five ball, four and a half ball top max right, and then try to play with overpower. And the plan here is to get the second bounce to bounce into the rough and near by the green area and then roll up into a nice position for a wedge. Sure, this is going to be more of a lottery because all from wind angle to wind strength and everything will affect. Power 5 ball though is a must and you know when you're playing this shot like with, with, that, um, with overpower you know, it's always going to be risky. I recommend the first option as the main option but once again if you have a big problem hitting perfect on your second shot with a short iron, then I would say what do you have to lose if you're gonna go for green. The video here is sponsored by Golf Clash and Play Damage. Don't forget to join our Discord. Link to Discord is in the description down below. Thank you so much for watching and good luck in your Golf Clash game.